Hey guys, hello everyone. How's everyone doing? I'm Anil Luthra, your robotic cybersecurity mentor and sometimes web development also. So today's topic, it's kind of a counter intuitive, right? We teach programming. <laughs> whole channel, whole channel is based on programming. Why we teach programming, we teach programming, right? Coding and programming, that's how things go. Or this video says why you should not learn. It's absolutely counter intuitive. It's weird, a jeep, or maybe not. So, coming back to the topic of today's video, why you should not learn programming. I understand many of you sitting over here might be thinking, What? Seriously? I'm programming secret, you're good with it, you're working on Python, some are learning different languages, doing different. Uh, developments, you are also doing robotics, cyber side, and a lot of different things are being provided on the channel. But the point and the basic concept I am trying to convey today is why you should not learn programming. Right? That's weird. Do not learn programming. Absolutely weird, absolutely crazy. But in depth, it's true. The reason you should not learn programming if you don't want to be good with analytics, then you should not. If you don't want to understand the core concepts and logic behind certain things, then you should not learn programming. It's as good as saying, why well, you should not learn maths? You should not learn maths if you think your logical building would actually hamper you such a way exactly same goes programming. It doesn't matter which field or domain you are going forward with. It doesn't. Either it's creative or anything else. Your logical analysis, your logical building, your logical understanding have to be there. You simply can't ignore the depth of these understandings. And believe it or not, that's how it works. So today we will take on one, like all different domains, verticals, where programming is not required, but being a programmer will actually help you to grow in those fields. And that's true. Let's take examples one by one and we'll see what good you can make out of it. Let's start with some fields which does not require your coding skills at all. Number one, data analytics. So data analytics actually don't require programming. It's more of a job of analytics, right? So you can say you might not need programming if you're good at mathematics, but seriously, are you going to do all the mathematics on your calculator always? It is, people do that, but that's not really the best way to do it. You can actually do the analytics easily using programming. Instead of using a simple software like Excel, you can actually move forward with good softwares, or good codes, or program your own methods to actually achieve something, right? Number two, accounts. Right? Some of you are from backgrounds of accounts. Commerce, some people will choose commerce in element 12, some will choose some other things in 11, 12, what is it really you're saying like, okay, accounts, what do I do? Coding, ka, programming, ka, commerce will do. But think it like that. What do accounts do in accounts? We play with numbers, right? We move from one to other. We transfer things accordingly. So we do that. It's all about accounts. But if you know programming, you can actually program the systems to move ahead with accordingly accountable manner. For example, let's say, okay, uh, really accountable manner is not the word. <laughs> it's weird, but let's think about something like this. What we do in accounts, we match balance sheets. All these balance sheets, sheets, sorry, yeah, sheets, all these balance sheets have specific steps which have to be followed to actually match them. It's not like vaguely coming out of anywhere, no. There are extremely specific things which goes forward with that. Let's go there. Trading. Okay, like trading, what trading we're talking about, right? Stock market trading. 
people with good analytical skills, logical skills and programming skills happen to have succeeded beautifully in trading. Stock markets, shares and everything, all goes with numbers. Now let's come to something different, more creative. Let's talk about designer. How designer actually helping programming, right? So when you're good at programming, you know certain steps, analytical skills you have to follow to make something good. Maybe certain designers don't require it. But when we talk about interior designers, or we talk about, uh, let's talk about fashion designing, maybe you're not required fashion designing, but definitely even fashion designing, if you talk about analytics and logics, it might be able to help you. Not sure about that, not going into that part. But designers happen to have that creativity in them. And that creativity along with the programming skills can make some certainly beautiful designs on user interface. We talk about softwares, right? We can make good user interfaces. We talk about interior designing. We can make certain areas where you can actually like pick up a chair or something and drop it over there. You can actually analyze the area which is required to be a weapon over there. And these skills require a little bit of mathematics based on volume, how big is your house or room and certain things like that. But just some programming to include karate, we might be able to do something creative with it. I'm not sure what you can do, but I'm definitely sure something creative will find comes out of it. The point people major concern is the programming interest. In last video, I have actually talked about what programming is. Every single day you do programming, even with your simple AC controller, you do programming, you set up a particular temperature on it and you do programming, right? Hum har rose har programming kar. It does not happen to be of code. Normally programming would be, right? In the simple amigram ne temperature setup kar AC ka. That's a programming. You program the AC air condition to cut off your electricity at specific temperature when it reaches. That's a program you have made. It doesn't have to be a coding. So people actually get really confused with these two concepts and that's what we are um, talking to you about today. It doesn't matter what field you are going to choose in future. It doesn't matter how you are going to do in future or what are your perceptions or what are perspectives you are moving forward with. Programming is a wholesome concept. It's not about just you happen to be good in something. It's much deeper than that. It, it's it's much more analytical than that. Mathematics, when we talk about mathematics, we say mathematics, kya hai? mathematics is it's language of the world, right? Every single person always says that mathematics is language of the world, of the universe. English is one language. Mathematics is the language of the universe. Everyone understands maths. No, I'm not saying understand maths. It's more of saying maths is there in nature. It just have to be analyzed. Look at the golden ratio. You know what's the golden ratio, guys? Okay, I'm not talking about maths in this class, definitely not, but uh, next video I'm going to talk about certain beautiful different things, golden ratios, pi in a way, something like that. So in case of golden ratio guys, it's there in nature already. We just analyzed and observed it and every single thing is possible due to that because of logics and how we have developed these logics. Let's talk about patterns, right? For example, you have flower and flower got patterns on it. Okay, let me delete this one first of all. Like this. Patterns. What these patterns actually tell you? You see how many over here? Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Every single time you make it, between those, will it come to 6? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And it will keep on increasing in six right so that's simple mathematics a simple logical analysis a simple programming i would say to actually make a beautiful flower out of it i'm not saying this is programming i'm not saying this is what you have to learn what i'm trying to say is programming opens a lot of doors for you it's not only about coding it's not only about making applications or websites it definitely solves one purpose but that doesn't mean that's the only purpose it solves. Let's talk about some young things you guys do. How many of you love puzzles? I love puzzles from my early childhood. 
I love to do puzzles. And these puzzles have helped me to have analytical skills which I have got today. Yeah, every single analysis I do, I understand things much better than anyone else because of my understanding of basic core concepts. It's not about programming at all. It's just about how creative, how much well prepared and how much open you are to new theories, to new designs and to new models altogether, I would say. Twitter generation, Gen Z, what we call the people, those in the, the human, those are born after 2000, they are called Gen Z. Who will have This is a generation when you are born, if you are born after 2000 year plus, it's around 1, 2000, like, they are called Gen Z. And these people have better analytical skills than the previous generation. Why? Somehow, everyone from Gen Z, the people who are born now, know how to use a phone, they know how to make, how to, how to use a phone, how to play games on the phone, how to send WhatsApp messages and do every single thing. Go on Facebook, Instagram, make videos and everything like that. What do you think does that mean? It definitely means one thing. You're good with technology. But so is you're good with your analytical skills. How you have happened to make yourself good worse with all the applications which are coming forward. No one has taught you how to use an application. I'm pretty sure no one has came forward to you and told you, okay, Instagram is going to use it. No. He said, but I don't know. You happen to use it and start using it, and now you're improving on it day by day. That's your basic analytical skills improvement. I'm not saying this is the only way you improve things. What I'm trying to say is definitely there's something going on over there. And that has to be thought about. Many care on Instagram seeking the programming algae, may you can programming other than Instagram Slaro. No. I'm saying you are good with it. Technology is improving every day. The better you go with technology, the better you understanding what programming is, the better you understand what computers are, the better things you can do with your life. E-commerce, everything, all the business which are going on these days, somehow, some way relates to technology. Like every single business these days relates to technology. And technology is improving on every single business. Someone who understands technology and the business, whatever field you are in, you're definitely going to be excellent at. Because you know the core concepts, core fundamentals of how things work. Because you know programming. I'm not talking about coding here, I'm talking about programming. And if you want to know the difference between programming and coding, watch my previous video where I've explained the difference between both of those. It's pretty good, actually. Uh, that's what I didn't comment. I'm not saying comments, I'm saying 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 It's kind of a mutual understanding between us. Okay, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. So that's the reason I would say you should not learn programming if you don't want to excel in a field. You should not learn programming as same as if you don't if you don't learn maths. You don't learn maths because X was a reason and same goes for programming. I think you should do maths and programming, both of those things continuously. Things about analytics. Programming is like a puzzle. You just have to find the right answer to it. And that's what's created the curiosity and beautifulness in the system. Maybe it's not for everyone, maybe it is. But to know if it's for you or not, you actually have to try it out. And that's what they're in the programming. And that's why you should not learn programming. Or you should. You decide and comment down in the section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share, guys. I know it's kind of a dense video came to an end, but I think it's as good as mathematics. Again, same line, always. I would say maths is as same as programming. It's like steps which we are performing to achieve something, something more worthwhile. And that's how deep it goes. So comment down below, guys, what you want to do next to new video for, what you want to learn something new, or whatever you want to come up with. Uh, I think that's all for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Share with your friends, let them know why programming is so much important for you and everyone around you and how much it can actually help you guys. So bye bye, Tata, see ya, sayonara. Bye bye.